back to the slide so in the function component side we have the we don't have any life cycle method i said we seen that but some of the hooks help us to uh, perform the similar actions uh, okay so i'm copying use effect and go back to the synthetic event um, here we need to capture the similar thing but this is a hook this is a default react hook we need to import here use effect and save it and after that you need to uh, write use of function so use effect so here this is a boilerplate part code for the use effect and here you can use console log trigger thing. let's save it and before that we can delete everything in console log of copy this so instead of debugger the console will be the good thing so save it so that's a use effect and actually this is save it and go back in the browser so here you can see uh, this we are mounting a function component and here we are using use effect when you refresh the page it will trigger two times so the first time uh, this use effect will replace two things that is uh, component this particular use effect will replace uh, these two things component will mount and component did mount uh, if we put debugger here we can easily capture the things so we are putting debugger and, and so refresh the page and you can see the first time debugger enter the use effect and component is mounting and second is second time debugger enter and execute the thing so which means uh, in the function component use effect is the very first uh, function to trigger so it will it will check whether the component is mounted and the second thing it will capture uh, whatever the data uh, we need with the help of use effect most of the uh, functional component use use effect uh, for retrieving the data from the api call so uh, now we can able to replicate component will mount and component did mount this kind of uh, life cycle methods uh, we can able to use use effect